Hey y'all, it's uh, Mary Van with Eco Foresters. I'm here today on a property in Rufford County, as they say. Um, I'm here in a uh, privet patch, as you see. Uh, let's see if I can get a. I also some autumn olive in here too. Um, this is a pretty dense patch. We were able to kind of creep along the edge and do a lot of hack and squirt. Um, but we're back today to go a little deeper into the patch and maybe get the rest of it. Hopefully, get the rest of it today. So come on, I'll, I'll, let's let's go further into the patch. I'll show you. So this here is the privet patch on one of the sides. Um, you can see that there is a lot of kind of over in here. A lot of a lot of stuff that's dropped its leaves. So all that's been treated, and there are a couple that got missed. There are also a couple of autumn olives in there too. Um, so let's go check on um, let's go check on some of this hack and squirt work we've done you can see down here on this privet here we've got a couple hack marks um even a couple i guess just for luck down there and this guy that guy right there is ded dead as they say and you can see this kind of tunnel we work to get in here all of this hack and squirt you can see the heck marks there, um, and then all of this took. So that is excellent, excellent, excellent stuff. Uh, Y'all, I'm really excited. So this has been about four weeks or so since we were out here treating, but I just wanted to show y'all what hack and squirt looked like on privet and the way we treat. Um, so let me get my camera to focus again here. So you can see that there's some there are these little troughs that were made by the hatchet and you want to get in and make sure that you um, you cut to the cambium and just beyond um, and what you want to what you want to target is this little area that you've opened up so that's where you scored in your herbicide you want to make sure that um, you're not girdling a tree when you're hacking squirt you want to leave just a little bit of space um, since this is such a small diameter it can be a little closer together than an inch but um, when you've got a larger diameter um, species you're looking to target you want to leave probably about an inch between each hack mark um, to ensure the maximum um, absorption of the herbicide into your target species. But yeah, so uh, I reckon I'm going to crawl out of this, uh, <laughs> this privet patch now, but yeah, hack and squirt, y'all. It's, it's a good way to go for privet. Here you go from an outside view, too. It looks pretty good from the road. Well, fair enough. All right, it's going to look even better here in a couple weeks after we treated today. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing the progress.